Kenneth lived in a sprawling mansion in Lagos, a symbol of his remarkable success and financial achievements. His home was lavishly decorated, with every room showcasing a different aspect of luxury, from exquisite furniture to priceless artwork. Despite the opulence surrounding him, Kenneth felt a deep sense of loneliness and dissatisfaction. He had always been attracted to women who were independent, beautiful, hard-working, and genuinely caring. However, the women he met seemed more interested in his wealth and status than in forming a meaningful, heartfelt connection. This constant pursuit of superficial relationships left Kenneth disillusioned and yearning for something more genuine. In search of a more authentic connection, he decided to leave behind his glamorous lifestyle and venture into a village. There, he hoped to find a simpler, more sincere kind of love, free from the distractions and pretenses of his wealthy life. Meanwhile, Debbie faced a similar dilemma in her own life. Despite her considerable wealth, she was constantly disappointed by the men she met who seemed more interested in her money than in getting to know her as a person. The constant focus on her financial status made genuine connections feel impossible. Frustrated by the superficiality of her relationships, Debbie sought a way to escape this facade. She decided to take a holiday to a quaint village, where she could live under a different guise. Disguising herself as an ordinary working woman allowed her to experience life without the pressures and expectations tied to her wealth. Her intention was to meet people who would appreciate her for her true self, not for her financial resources. By stepping away from the trappings of her affluent lifestyle, she hoped to find a more authentic and sincere connection. In the village, Kenneth and Debbie's lives unexpectedly intersected. Each was unaware of the other's true identity and both were living under false pretenses. Kenneth had assumed the role of a modest small-scale entrepreneur, immersing himself in the everyday routines and simple pleasures of village life. He found joy in the unpretentious activities and the genuine interactions that came with his new identity. On the other hand, Debbie had adopted the persona of a schoolteacher, embracing the opportunity to engage with villagers on a more personal and meaningful level. She enjoyed the straightforward conversations and the sense of community that came with her role, which contrasted sharply with the superficial interactions she was used to in her previous life. The village setting allowed them to experience life through a lens of authenticity, albeit under their assumed roles. Kenneth and Debbie quickly developed a routine of visiting each other frequently, making the most of their time in the village. They enjoyed sharing meals together, savoring simple, home-cooked dishes that brought them closer. Their days were filled with exploring the picturesque countryside, discovering scenic spots and hidden gems that the village had to offer. They also took part in local festivals, participating in traditional dances and celebrations, which allowed them to fully immerse themselves in the village culture. Through these shared experiences, Kenneth was deeply touched by Debbie's genuine kindness and the way she cared for those around her. Her sincere nature stood out, making him appreciate her even more. Debbie, in turn, was impressed by Kenneth's humility and the dedication he showed in his work, despite his modest role in the village. His willingness to engage in the local community and his down-to-earth attitude won her admiration. Their mutual pretense of being average income earners created a space where they could connect more profoundly. It removed the usual barriers and expectations tied to their real social statuses, allowing them to build a bond based on their true personalities and shared experiences. This deeper connection, free from the usual constraints of their wealthy backgrounds, provided them with a sense of comfort and authenticity they had longed for. One evening, Kenneth and Debbie found themselves sitting together by a serene riverbank. The soft murmur of the flowing water and the peaceful surroundings created a perfect setting for their conversation. Kenneth began to share stories about his life in Lagos, recounting both the challenges and triumphs he had experienced. He spoke of his work, his home, and the people who had been part of his journey. 
Debbie, in turn, opened up about her own experiences, sharing anecdotes from her life and the difficulties she had faced in finding genuine relationships. As they talked, they found themselves laughing over the small, amusing details of their stories. The simple joys and quirks of their lives provided a refreshing contrast to their usual experiences. They relished these moments of lightheartedness, which brought them closer together. In each other's company, they felt a deep sense of solace and understanding. The honesty they shared about their lives, combined with the simplicity of their current situation, allowed them to build a strong emotional connection. Their conversations and shared experiences, free from the pretenses of their real identities, strengthened their bond and made their relationship feel more genuine and meaningful. As their holiday drew to a close, Kenneth and Debbie faced the difficult moment of parting ways. The time they had spent together in the village had been filled with meaningful interactions and genuine connection, and both felt a sense of reluctance as they prepared to return to their separate lives. Despite their growing attachment and the deep bond they had formed, the reality of their departures loomed. Kenneth and Debbie each returned to their respective homes with a newfound sense of understanding and appreciation for one another. The connection they had built during their time away from their usual surroundings had become something truly precious and irreplaceable. They recognized that what they had found in each other was rare and worth preserving. Determined not to let their relationship fade away, they made a mutual decision to continue their connection despite the distance. They were both committed to nurturing what they had discovered together, knowing that their bond was special and worth the effort to maintain. This shared resolve to keep their relationship alive was driven by the profound impact they had on each other's lives and the sincere affection that had grown between them. When Debbie first visited Kenneth's mansion in Lagos, she was struck by the sheer scale of its grandeur. As she entered through the grand entrance, she was greeted by a sprawling foyer with gleaming marble floors that seemed to stretch endlessly. The expansive space was adorned with lavish decorations, including intricate chandeliers and elegant furnishings, which created an atmosphere of unparalleled luxury. Every corner of the mansion revealed a different facet of opulence. The living rooms were meticulously designed with exquisite furniture and ornate details that spoke of exceptional taste and wealth. Art pieces of immense value and beauty were displayed prominently, adding to the sense of extravagance. Debbie had always known Kenneth as a humble and hard-working man during their time in the village. His true wealth had been hidden behind the modest facade he maintained there. Seeing his real estate, so lavish and beyond anything she had ever imagined, left her deeply astonished. The contrast between the opulent setting of Kenneth's home and the simple, unassuming village life they had shared was striking. This disparity made her reflect on the difference between the man she had come to know and the life of affluence he actually led, highlighting how they had managed to connect so deeply despite these differences. A few days later, Kenneth went to visit Debbie at her apartment. He had been expecting something modest and simple, so he was taken aback by what he saw. The apartment was incredibly stylish, with a modern design that featured sleek furniture and beautiful decorations. The view of the city from the apartment was impressive and added to its grandeur. It was clear that the apartment was very luxurious, much more than Kenneth had ever imagined. This level of elegance and sophistication was a stark contrast to the simple life they had shared in the village. Kenneth realized that Debbie's wealth was much greater than he had known, as she had always appeared to be just an ordinary schoolteacher. The difference between her actual wealth and the humble image she projected left Kenneth feeling astonished and thoughtful about how people's true situations can be so different from what they seem. As they sat together in Kenneth's study, the room filled with the luxury he had gathered over the years, they finally decided to open up about the truths they had been hiding. Kenneth admitted to feeling disheartened by relationships that seemed shallow and insincere, where people were more interested in his wealth than in him as a person. He expressed his deep desire to find someone who truly valued him for who he was and not just for his money. 
Debbie, on the other hand, talked about her own struggles with men who were only attracted to her wealth. She revealed her frustration with not being able to find a genuine connection, someone who would appreciate her for herself and not just for her financial status. Both of them, sharing their honest feelings, realized they had been longing for something real and meaningful in their lives. They both came to the realization that they had found in each other a kindred spirit, someone who truly understood the challenge of living in a world where money and status often overshadowed genuine connections. Their initial deception, where they had pretended to be something they were not, had served a purpose. It allowed them to meet each other without the usual distractions of wealth and social status. Through this deception, they were able to discover each other's true personalities and intentions, free from the influence of their fortunes. In this way, their initial pretense had actually helped them form a deeper, more authentic bond, where they could relate to each other's experiences and struggles in a meaningful way. In the end, Kenneth and Debbie chose to fully embrace both their wealth and their love for each other. They decided to continue their relationship with a fresh perspective and a renewed appreciation for the connection they had forged. They understood that their earlier pretense had helped them build a real bond, free from the usual distractions of money and social status. By facing and overcoming these challenges, they found something genuine and lasting in each other. Their story came to symbolize the idea that true love often emerges when people are willing to step outside their usual comforts and look beyond superficial appearances. It showed that real connections can be made when one is open to seeing and valuing others for who they truly are.